All right, let's get talking. Mixed and messy mistakes. Right now, I am showing you the DNA test results from 23andMe of, I'll say, a normally pigmented woman from Congo, DRC, and she says that her four grandparents were born in Congo, DRC. And what we can see is that she is 99.8% Sub-Saharan African. So she's pretty much all African. There may be some, there is a small amount of what they're calling unassigned. Um, she is mostly Angolan and Congolese, and mostly Congolese and Southern East African. So her results check out. Now, going here, continue. We see this girl who says both of her parents are Nigerian. She thought she would have Portuguese ancestry, but none showed up, and she is 99. 0.9% Sub-Saharan African. Much lighter in complexion with most of her ancestry 89.7% being Nigerian. Okay, so now and for unassigned there's a small amount of, it's hard to see it, like I think 0.1% is hard to see it, but a small amount that is unassigned. So the test actually got what she is correct. She even mentions that uh, her grand mother and herself have freckles. I don't see the freckles, but she says he has them. And she mentions having different shades in her family. But interestingly, she has eight Neanderthal variants, which would indicate that there could have been some back migration, or it could be the case that it's some other archaic ancestry that 23andMe is reading as um, Neanderthal, who knows. But her maternal haplogroup is African. As far as paternal, women don't have paternal haplogroups lacking a Y chromosome. And let's see. Let's see. View more comments. And she says that her parents are from Cross River, a quiet bomb, which happens to be in southeastern Nigeria. Now, closing this out. And this. I'm going to go to this new to this tab here. Let me see 20. 
Let's see if it shows what I can find what I was looking for. Okay, here we go here. To this person. Is this it? And let's see if I could find it where or her. Oh man, did it say she deleted it? That her that uh That kind of sucks if she deleted it. But anyways, we're going to go back and I'm going to see if I can sort of squint. To see it. really wanted you to be able to see this because I was actually just looking at this yesterday Resolutionist. So very poor. But this person was about fifty percent sub Saharan African and forty percent European. Let me see if I can find another post. I'm going to say 23 and me. Uh -oh. We're just going to just see if we can find anything. Mixed race. Who knows? Hate that she deleted it. Because I really needed an image. Especially with someone mixed European and African. If I say biracial, Let's see what I get. Yeah, I don't 
don't see any pictures. Kind of failing to deliver the goods here. By the time you can see what people look like, you gotta show your images with their results. Might have to settle. Okay, so you'll just settle for her. Cool. Hopefully she didn't delete hers. This is only to show that for this come on, come on, don't do this to me. Anyways, you can see that she has a high amount of European ancestry. She's only showing... Oh, here it is, Sub-Saharan. Okay, so we see that she is 54.3% um, unless this is her mother's. Uh, anyways, we see what she says, mom is biracial, black, white, and dad is black. I wasn't expecting a perfect 75-25 split, but this is surprising, so maybe these are her mother's results. We can see that she has light skin and European did show up in this person's background. which means that it should have showed up for that Nigerian woman. see and then you have her visit it says our results uh, plus me my dad is African American Virginia and my mom is white Canada results like 30 70 rather than 50 50 is this the normal due to racial to slavery slash mixing i really like so i guess it makes sense we see her phenotype european for her being 66 percent and her sub-Saharan being 31.6%. Now, I was watching a video on YouTube and 
there was a panel of people who were arguing that mixed people are black versus an African who was arguing that they are not black. So that's why I titled this what I titled it. Although the person who was arguing that mixed people are not black does not accept DNA testing as valid, we have seen someone who was Nigerian get Nigerian results and we've seen someone who was Congolese get results that fit with someone from the Congo and we see now this woman who gets both European and uh, African results who has a higher percentage of European than African who looks more than half European. Now, if we, if I go to let's see this woman here images she is exactly fifty fifty Nigerian and German. Hopefully you will let me scroll. Okay. Wait, okay, I'll accept all of that. Come on, come on. Let's see, is it gonna let me? Is it gonna go down? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Anything I want to show possible is her hair texture. Because that is significant okay so this is the hair texture of someone who is exactly half European and half African and the facial features of someone and skin tone of someone who was half African and half European but we saw before that you can be uh, 
fully African and come out this color. So as a way to explain how that could happen, we're gonna go to this. Rufus Albinism. And we see here this person has Rufus Occlutaneous Albinism, which results in a uh, lighter than I guess normal skin pigment, but not what we normally think of as albinos. Now, of course, this little boy here also has it. He's not as light as the uh, biracial Nigerian woman I showed, but these children also have it. So to Does this boy here have it? I'm not sure if the father has it, unless they're protecting the identity of the individuals. And even he has it. And as well as him having it. So this is proof that it is possible to be fully African, genetically speaking, and to have in him having it. It's possible to be fully African and to have skin tones that are not always as dark as This, oh, let's see. This individual here. See if I can find, see. A guy made some videos about who is really black.
through this video. Let's see if I can find images. I don't know what happened to them, but uh, let's see if I type in YouTube, do I get an image? Okay, but nothing. If you have people saying that mixed race people are not black, uh, can't find a video a image. But anyways, they were arguing. Uh, some of the mixed people were arguing that they're just black. They didn't want to claim being mixed race while some do and talk about mixed race erasure and blah, blah, blah. Let's see, by racial awareness. Let's just see. Okay, so you have situations where for example on this Facebook page we have this woman is uh, biracial she does have European and African ancestry. And they, what they will do is they will show someone who is uh, African and dark skin. And of course, they'll show a European person and someone in the middle. And this is supposed to promote the notion that there are authentic black people who must be dark skinned in any thing uh, not that dark not as dark must be uh, due to racial admixture. But again, with uh, that genetic thing, we've seen that that skin color is not the always the most reliable thing to rely to uh, rely almost the most reliable thing to rely on or go by. Red hair, Nigerians. This is asking why do some Nigerians have ginger hair? And we see this little girl here. Both of her parents are Nigerian, but we notice how red her hair is. And we see this little girl, at least I guess these are two little girls. Sorry to whoever put the picture up that I uh, can't tell, but because of babies, you know, I'm going to say this is a little girl, but with babies, you know, black people, we, 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 we do this to their hair regardless of gender. But we see how red her hair is. We see that she is 
a kind of a, a reddish brown color. Based upon similarities, I would say that these are siblings. I can't vouch for every image I show you as far as people's genetics, 